Okay, so how does this work? Uh, basically, you're going to use uh, either this cloth here, which uh, I picked up in Chiang Mai. It's a Hmong tribe uh, people at the night market there in Chiang Mai. Uh, presumably, they had um, uh, possibly were refugees uh, from uh, Laos or Cambodia, uh, and they have used this cloth in order to portray life in the village. And so what you're going to do is to, whether it's this picture or I'll show you another one uh, later on, um, is to ask your um, audience, as it were, to come and to have a look closer. I will zoom in so you can actually see this and to pick, let's say, three different parts of the picture and use those three parts then to make a story. Why do I say three? I think probably two uh, is too short. Uh, it could go longer, four or five, um, six or seven, probably we'd be getting into a mini-series, you know, um, 10, 12, uh, we'd need several volumes. So three is, I think, manageable in the time that we have. They don't need to be absolutely, uh, if they decide they really want to use a fourth element too. So, um, what have we got here? So, for example, I really like uh, uh, this person here who it seems to me is trying to feed. He's got a couple of pigs here. A couple, and I think this is, we've got a, a young woman and a, a young man, uh, and they are walking side by side. So the question is, oh, where are they going? And uh, what have they got? Uh, is this uh, two long loaves of bread? Uh, that we have here, or, or what is this in her basket that she's got here? Uh, perhaps they're going to the market. And if so, is it really important that they sell these things? Uh, what are they going to do with the money if they get it? Or sadly, what will they do if they don't get the money? Mm. Uh, then if they're going to the market, uh, along the way, it could be a kind of journey story that as they go to the market, they might meet some people. So for example, uh, and perhaps they are gathering, uh, are these the fruits here? Uh, here we've got, uh, I think this is a donkey, isn't it? Yes, and the donkey is going off to uh, the market possibly. What is the donkey carrying on its back? So what happens when they meet, for example, uh, the couple that we met earlier? Do you remember them? Uh, yes, here they are. Uh, when they come to the donkey, and perhaps uh, maybe uh, the bridge across the stream is too narrow, and there's a... Mm, who knows how we could possibly develop a story, or perhaps there's some kind of trade between the two of them? So it goes on. Okay, so let's say, for example, we start with this couple up here. So uh, could we give them a name? Well, there's Jack and Jill, for example. I know it's not very Hmong, but never mind. Okay. So Jack and Jill. Okay. Uh, and what are they doing? Oh, they're going to the market. Uh, why are they going to the market? And then you tell me because they need to get some money in order to mm, uh, take their dog to the vet okay very good uh and then uh, and where are they walking tell me about the road oh they're going through the forest oh and then you can ask them some details about the forest what are they hearing what are they smelling what are they seeing mm. and who is it they meet as they're going along the oh uh that's when we get then the couple with the donkey oh what's the name of the donkey oh uh eeyore oh very good and so on so that you can help them to add the details just by asking. Okay, so this one I picked up in Bhubaneswar in uh, northeastern uh, India, uh, uh, and it's, uh, I would think, a plique. And so, uh, so much, again, in this village for you to pick out. I particularly like we've got a playground down here, which will relate to the kids. And we've got lots of different animals. We've got cows and goats, and or perhaps there are sheep. Uh, interestingly, we have four uh, different um, places of worship. We have a church here, you can see the cross. Uh, we've got a mosque, I believe. We've got a temple. Uh, and we've also got the Gurdwara over here for the Sikhs. Uh, we've got so many different people and they seem to be very smartly dressed. So perhaps there's some kind of festival that is going on. And wouldn't that be nice if the procession was to move uh, from one place of worship to the next? We've got lots of um, 
uh, birds flying here. It's a beautiful sunny day. We've got cars that are zooming through uh, the centre of the town. So uh, that may be a cause for some problem. If any of you know the story of Get Out of the Way, Get Out of the Way, wonderful story set in India about a small um, tree that is planted and uh, in the middle uh, and uh, as in time it grows and of course people have to go around it and go around it and go around it and a track is worn uh, and um, eventually a road is built and so on but it all goes around the tree that is standing there and everybody of course who's coming on the road is saying to all the people and the cattle and everything get out of the way get out of the way so that could well be um, uh, an idea for a story how do people get across this very busy road and what might ooh, sadly uh, tragically uh, happen uh, to somebody a child or to perhaps you know the family cow uh, during the story so again just pick out look at that I particularly like there's some uh, spectacular ladies here with lovely long um, uh, ponytails here with their braids and wonderful uh, costumes which would suggest possibly they are in a uh, procession, lots of things that you can just pick up and it becomes a small little story about something that happens to somebody on this particular sunny day in the village. Uh, the nice thing about this one of course is that it's this way so you can have uh, a number of people standing in front of it. Uh, I've got it very high just so that I can film here. I'm sure that when we're uh, you'll be able to adjust it on the stand so I would probably bring it down much more to this height so that kids can actually look at it without having to come. Okay.